Canadian Gay Open happens uh, once a year and we've been doing it uh, almost 15 years now. This tournament tends to attract everyone from the US to the UK, we've had people from Australia here before. It's such a great event because we welcome all level of play. It's a very grueling uh, um, days for the players. You play two matches a day and they basically over the weekend has to play six matches. The winner gets a trophy, so it's a, it's a Inuit style trophy, it's carved in glass. We've been playing together um, both on and off the court for about four and a half years. <laughs> we get warnings all the time about playing together because I've heard stories of like a, a couple playing a Las Vegas tournament and they broke up on the court. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a lot more exciting than just, um, just a regular straight club. There's a lot more drama, that's for sure. People grind, people pace themselves, people slow themselves down when they're making mistakes. Um, there's drama sometimes, stare downs. You have to be on the court to see it. Sometimes you see people dressed up as Serena and Venus uh, in some of these tournaments. It's actually quite, quite amazing. I've earned the title of Serena Williams. I have to say it's probably the way that I carry myself on the court. Big intensity like Serena, big ground strokes, fist pump when I get the, the right ball or serve in the court. We're into matching shirts and shorts and socks and stuff. Well, yeah, we actually, um, we try not to match until we're the finals. So it, it kind of gives us incentive to do better. We see a lot of regular people coming back every year. I think the most part it's a haven for those who have newly come out and they want to interact with people but they also play a sport. I find it tends to be very welcoming for them um, but it's also positive for those that um, just enjoy the sport in, in general.